hello students welcome to engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet now uh, we are going to solve these two problems so in this problem it is said that the 2 kg block b and 15 kg cylinder a are connected to a light cord that passes through a hole in the center of the smooth table if the block is given a speed of 10 meter per second determine the radius of the circular path along which it travels so in the first problem we are given the velocity and in and we are required to find the radius and in the second problem uh, which have the same figure so in the second problem we are given the radius and we are asked to determine the speed right so we will find the equations for uh, both of these problems right since both of these problems are similar similar problems right so we are going to solve this problem by using the normal and tangential coordinate system right so first of all we will define our normal and tangential coordinates right so the normal coordinate is also uh, is always acting towards the center of the curvature or the path right since uh, this box is moving in a circular path so the normal will be acting in the normal axis will be in this direction that is toward the center so let me write that this is normal coordinates and then the tangential direction will be acting in the direction of motion and that will be perpendicular to the normal axis so this is the tangential direction and similarly the binormal axis will be perpendicular to both these axes so this is the binormal right now uh, as we can see that uh, this block is connected with this cylinder right so the tension in this rope will be equal to the mass of this cylinder right so the mass of this cylinder is 15 kg so we can draw that the tension will be acting in the positive normal direction and this tension will be equal to the weight of the cylinder right so we can write that uh, tension is equal to the cylinder mass is 15 kg so this will be 15 times 9.81 newtons and similarly the table will apply the normal force on this block in the upward direction right so this will be the this will be the normal force of the table on this block right so it will be acting vertically upward and similarly the weight of this block will be acting vertically downward like this so this is the weight so this is the weight of the block and this weight of the block is uh, 2 times 9.81 newtons so now if we apply the equation of motion if we apply the summation of the forces along the binormal axis is equals to so this will be equal to zero since there is no acceleration in the binormal axis is right so as we can see that uh, this normal force is acting in the positive b direction so i will write plus n minus the weight of the block and this will be equal to zero or from this we can say that n is equal to weight of the block let me write that this is the weight of the block this is the weight of the block so the weight of the block is 2 times 9.81 newtons similarly if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis so this will be equal to m a n and as we can see that the tension in the cable is acting in the positive n direction so i will write plus t and there is no other force in the normal direction so this will be equal to m and the mass of the box or the mass of the block is uh, 2 so 2 times a n and a n is v square divided by r r rho so let me write it as r right since we are required to find the radius of the circular path so this is v square divided by r so from this equation uh, we can find v square since in this problem uh, in this problem we are given velocity so we are required to find the radius so to find the radius I, we can write this equation as r equals to 2v square divided by t and so we can put v value so this is 2 multiplied by v is 10 so this is 10 square this velocity is given this is 10 
and tension in the rope is 15 times 9.81 so this is 2 multiply by 10 square divided by 15 multiply by 9.81 so this gives us radius equal to 1.359 approximately so 1.359 meters Similarly, in this problem, we are given the radius and we are required to determine the speed of the block. So, again, we can use this equation. Let's say this is equation 1. So, from equation 1, we can find velocity. So, now we can write this equation is if I multiply both sides of the equation by r, so we will have t r equals to 2 v square. Or from this, we can say that v square is equal to t r divided by 2. And if we take the square root, then we will be able to find the velocity. So, again we know that T is equal to the weight of the cylinder which is 15 multiplied by 9.81. Now, the radius is given in this problem. So, the radius is 1.5 divided by 2. So, this is 15 multiplied by 9.81 multiply by 1.5 divided by 2. So, the velocity for the second case is 10.505 or we can say that it is 10.51. So, the velocity is 10.51 meter per second. So, now if, if the radius of the circular path is uh, 1.5 meters, then the block B will move with a velocity of 10.51 meter per second. And if the block is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second, then the radius is 1.359 meters. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also, like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.